Jam. Thank you, ma'am. It's ACC Live throwback, and it's Dunkuary. Are you voting? Well, you'll want to after seeing these two fierce throwdowns from NC State. Speaking of the pack, we talked the Tobacco Road Showdown. That was bigger than Duke UNC at one point. NC State and North Carolina rematch Saturday. We bring you an old school duel from the rivalry. Glenn Bias with 29. Oh my! And he made the steal in a jam! And we hit the way back button to show you two historic upsets. One involving an all time ACC legend. All this coming up on ACC Live Throwback. The most irreplaceable and electrifying aspect of college hoops is, of course, rivalries. Today, we bring you the other Tobacco Road rivalry, North Carolina and NC State. Welcome into Throwback Thursday. I'm Kelly Nash, your host of ACC Live today. You can tweet me at Sports and use hashtag ACC Live. In just a few minutes, a couple friends here at the ACCDN, J.R. Reed and Chucky Brown, talk about going head to head in the rivalry. You have never heard these stories before. But first, it's Dunkuary. Let me quickly catch you up. We've gone through the ACC archives and found what we believe are the best two dunks from every ACC school. Those two dunks, they go head to head. Whichever dunk gets the most votes from you moves on to the next round. And on February 27th, we release our 16 dunk bracket. Just like the NCAA tournament, we go round by round. And on March 11th, on the week of the men's ACC tournament, we announce the winner. Just watch the dunks on our YouTube channel and give a thumbs up to the one you like more and make sure you vote in every round. We're going in alphabetical order, of course, through the schools, and right now, it's time for NC State. We take you back 13 years to 2000. His name is Damon Thornton, and he really does dunk right over a seven-footer. No chance he forgot this little gem. Thornton sprints to the rim, drives through Maryland's Mike Martisich, and slams one home, the all-time classic. So what could we possibly match this fan favorite slam up against? Well, of course, a rivalry slam. Pax Gavin Grant is the real deal with this reverse slam against the heels in 2007. All five white jerseys inside that three-point line. Thomas had it swiped away, and it's Grant on the break. Play a hockey game here tonight. The ice might melt if this thing keeps as hot as it is for the home team right now. The amazing double pump reverse jam. If you didn't know, I have a little thing for reverse dunks. Yeah, true story. So I may or may not be leaning towards that one right there. And you know, when I like a jam, I kind of cheat the system voting multiple times. But do what you want. I'm just saying. So now it's time for you to vote. Watch these dunks on our YouTube channel. Like the one you like better. You can also tweet us at the ACCDN using the hashtag Dunkuary. The winner moves on and we'll announce the Sweet 16 bracket next week. We went back a bit in time for those dunks, but the NC State and Carolina rivalry goes way back. When the schools square off, the atmosphere is guaranteed to be electric. Ahead of the big game, Let's take a walk down memory lane together with rival legends J.R. Reed of Carolina and Chucky Brown of State. When everyone thinks of rivalries in the ACC, they think of UNC and Duke. But NC State and Carolina have had their fair share. The one that stands out most in my mind was my freshman year in the ACC tournament up in Landover, Maryland. NC State was led by Benny Del Negro, Charles Shackelford, and Chucky Brown. When I got to Carolina, that NC State game was very big. They were one of the best teams in the conference, and Duke and, I, and us hadn't really become a rivalry yet. Back then, it was, a, it was bigger than the Duke-North Carolina rivalry. I moved down here from New York City and came to Tobacco Road, and it seemed like the whole state stopped moving. I, I do remember an altercation I had <laughs> with Scott Williams where I was coming through the lane, and he kind of formed me in the chest, and um, I kind I didn't really re overreact to it, get really emotional. I just kind of saved it up. I was a senior then, so I was like, okay, you, you're gonna do that, okay. And the next chance that I got to kind of rub it in his face, I got a dunk and I just clapped to the crowd a little bit. <laughs> ah, the classic battles of the 80s between these two surely heated up the rivalry, and the fans have kept it that way 
even when the teams haven't been so hot. You know I love Twitter, so let's find out what's t trending now. Carolina Blue tweeted, Tar Heel Nation, ready for that state beatdown Saturday. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. Alden Early, Wolfpack and Tar Heels renew hardwood rivalry Saturday in Chapel Hill. Should be a classic, get stoked. I think it's guaranteed to be a classic. Of course, the Heels pack game is on Saturday, but what's happening right now? It's time for the headlines across the ACC. Here's your ACC now. Sixth ranked Duke heads to Blacksburg tonight at 9 on ESPN to take on Virginia Tech. The Blue Devils are 9 and 5 against the Hokies on the road, and Coach K is just one win away from reaching 950 for his career. Speaking of the Dukies, you can team up with Chris Duhon to help homeless children in Durham. The former Duke All-American is bringing his Sneakers to Succeed campaign to Cameron Indoor to collect kids' shoes. Join in on the cause Saturday, March 2nd, before the Blue Devils host Miami. The ACC is backing the University of Miami as it prepares a response to the NCAA's notice of allegations. Commissioner John Swafford telling the ACC Digital Network this morning, we are supportive of Miami's continued efforts to work with the NCAA on bringing resolution to this case. Miami's cooperation throughout this process should be commended and they have self-imposed significant sanctions. They've been forthright and diligent in their efforts to fully cooperate with the NCAA and it's time for this case to be brought to closure. To the pool we go now. The Virginia Tech and Virginia Relay squads took home titles on the first day of the Women's Swimming and Diving Championship yesterday. For the ACCDN's live coverage of the finals for the women's action, plus the men's diving championship tonight through Saturday, log on to the ACC.com starting at 7, and that'll do it for the ACC now. North Carolina is the ultimate basketball state, and with a Tobacco Road showdown looming, we use the eyes and ears of two ACC insiders to bring knowledge on NC State and Carolina's epic rivalry. Out with the old and in with the delicious. Commit to bold taste with the new flavor resolutions menu at Ruby Tuesday. Ten entrees starting at $9.99. Try our savory barbecue brushed ribs and bacon wrapped shrimp. Or take it up a notch by adding coconut crusted shrimp to our mango salsa topped Caribbean chicken. Plus, enjoy our endless garden bar, free with any chef inspired entree. Ruby Tuesday, it's all good here. Start the new year with savings. Visit rubytuesday.com today for a $5 coupon. What's better, bigger or smaller? Bigger! So which would you rather have, a big tree house or a small tree house? If it's big enough, you can have a disco. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why do you not want a smaller tree house? Because it wouldn't be able to fit a flat screen TV, and then the TV would be about this big, and you would have to hold the wire, and the position would hold the wire, you wouldn't be able to see the TV. That's a pain in the buns. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah. It's not complicated. Bigger is better, and AT&T has the nation's largest 4G network. The ACC Digital Network, the ultimate video destination for ACC fans. Exclusive highlights, live streaming games and original live programming, unique access to the student athletes of our time and the legendary voices of all time. Defining moments, personal stories, incredible analysis from authentic ACC sources, cutting edge content from the leaders in the digital space. The ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Oh, oh. Hello? Yes, I didn't realize you'd be talking to an actual person. You don't need to press zero. I'm here. Reach a person, not a prompt, whenever you call Chase Sapphire. This dunk of the day brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. The highlight slide right there. How high he is way over. NC State. Bring in the house down. <laughs> Start the new year with savings. Visit rubytuesday.com to get $5 off two entrees. Those were three monster jams from CJ Leslie and State's win over Florida State Tuesday. Yeah, those were sick. Welcome back to the ACC Live Throwback on the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. I'm Kelly Gash. Again, tweet me at Sports and use the hashtag ACC Live. Leslie was great the other day, but we're talking about the greatest dunk 
in Wolfpack history. We showed you Damon Thornton, Gavin Grant, which one's better? Watch the dunks on our YouTube channel, like the one you want to vote for. We'll narrow it down until you decide the best dunk in ACC history. Speaking of history, our host Jeff Fischel was joined by Jim Young, editor of ACCSports.com, and Brad Jensen of Sports Radio 610 AM WFNZ The Fan in Charlotte, of course, to talk the NC State North Carolina rivalry. Coming up, we know we always talk about Duke Carolina, but Saturday it's North Carolina, North Carolina State. How is this rivalry different? How is it unique? And how is it one that North Carolina fans should be saying, and North Carolina State fans should be saying, this is a big deal in and of itself? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I live in Durham, so this is absolutely a rivalry to me. Uh, you know, and Duke, North Carolina gets all of those headlines, but, you know, NC State and North Carolina are the two big schools here, so there's where all the alums are here. That's where you, you know, one, the, this is the rivalry where people run into each other in the grocery store at the water cooler, which is a little bit different uh, from Duke and, and North Carolina. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot here because, you know, NC State feels like it's a program on the rise. And North Carolina, while it's gotten things back on track this season, is not quite up at North Carolina levels. So, you know, you talk to a North Carolina fan and they'll kind of, you know, blow this whole thing off. But if NC State can go in there and win at North Carolina, I think that does a lot for that program's self-image. Yeah, you know, and I agree with him. The, the thing is, I grew up in the Charlotte area. I moved here when I was five years old. And all through the you know, late 70s, early, and all through the 80s, I thought the big rivalry – was NC State, North Carolina. I didn't know it was Duke, North Carolina. I thought it was State Carolina all the way through high school when I graduated because it was Valvano, and you had all those guys, and Norm Sloan, and, and Phil Ford, and Walter Davis, and all those guys, Michael Jordan, James Worthy. I thought that was the rivalry, not Duke, because, you know, when I was growing up, it was like, who's this Krzyzewski guy? I can't even pronounce his name. <laughs> He's some new coach, but it's Valvano, it's Dean Smith, and you knew what you were getting, and, you know, it was Duke, North Carolina State with Chris Washburn going to the Elite Eights in the Sweet 16. So I, I'm glad this rivalry has gotten back. You know, North Carolina State winning the first time in 13 meetings or 14 meetings. That's good for the program. And if they can sweep North Carolina in the regular season, that will do wonders for that program. ACC supremacy is on the line. Okay, maybe not exactly this year, but proximity and pride are guaranteed to keep this matchup intense. Our Twitter feed is at the ACCDN. I'm at Kanash Sports. Now it's time to climb aboard the throwback machine. Before the age of Google Hangouts, let's see what happened this week in ACC history. February 20th, 1986, Maryland versus North Carolina. The number one Tar Heels suffered their first loss ever in the Smith Center, courtesy of the Terrapins' Len Bias. He put up 35 points to lead Maryland to a 77-72 win. February 23rd, 1963, the classic Carolina at Duke. In his last home game in Cameron Indoor, Duke center Art Hyman led his Blue Devils to a 106-93 win over UNC. He received a standing O after the game as he scored a career high 40 points. As to a much more recent game, February 23rd, 1992, Wake Forest, Duke. The Demon Deacons snuck past those number one Blue Devils, 72-68. Georgetown transfer Anthony Tucker had 24 points, but Blue Devil fans won't let you forget they were playing without star point guard Bobby Hurley. On to a closing note dear to my heart. Kirk Urso, the captain of UNC's 2011 National Championship men's soccer team, passed away unexpectedly this past August of a heart defect. Ensuring his memory lives on, his Major League Soccer team, the Columbus Crew, and current Tar Heel soccer team will face off in his honor on Sunday in Greensboro to raise money for the Kirk Urso Memorial Fund that benefits heart defect research. Tickets are just $10. Visit thecrew.com slash Urso Fund for more information. And we're taking votes all day long for Dunkuary. You can vote for the best dunk from Boston College, Clemson, Duke, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Maryland, Miami, North Carolina, and now NC State. Wow, that was a mouthful. Tomorrow, it's Virginia. I'll be back on ACC Live to show you the Cavs nominees and preview all the weekend hoops action with guess who? Duke great Mike Jeminski. That's at noon here on the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. I'm Kelly Nash. Thanks for watching.